Karim Khan said yesterday his office had applied to the world's court's pre-trial chamber for arrest warrants. Uh, here's a little of what he said. I have reasonable grounds to believe on the basis of evidence collected and examined by my office that Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and Minister of Defence Yoav Gallant bear criminal responsibility for the following international crimes committed on the territory of the State of Palestine from at least the 8th of October 2023. The crimes include starvation of civilians as a method of warfare, willfully causing great suffering, serious injury to body or health or cruel treatment, willful killing or murder, and intentionally directing attacks against a civilian population, as well as crimes against humanity of extermination and or murder, persecution, and allegations of crimes of committing other inhumane acts. Response from Benjamin Netanyahu in a video posted on social media last night. Mr. Khan creates a twisted and false moral equivalence between the leaders of Israel and the henchmen of Hamas. This is like creating a moral equivalence after September 11th between President Bush and Osama bin Laden, or during World War II between FDR and Hitler. Alonso Gurmendi is lecturer in international relations in King's College London's War Studies Department and joins me now. Well, my listeners and everyone is thinking, what happens now? What is the likelihood that any arrest is going to take place? Good morning. Good morning, Nick. Thanks for having me. Um, well, as as to the um, what happens next, right now, the the prosecutor has requested um, these arrest warrants and they need to be approved by the pretrial chamber. And once they are, then they will be enforceable in all 124 members of the ICC. And what does that mean for the, the men involved then? It restricts their travel? What, what, what actually does it mean? Well, it means that, that they will be, um, they're, they're, you know, they will need to be presented towards the uh, ICC to face trial. And so if they travel, as you say, if they travel to any of the member states, they will be subject to arrest. So, yes, it will severely restrict um, travel. Say um, countries like the United States, like Israel itself, uh, Russia, China are not part of the ICC. But most of Europe, uh, most of Africa, all of Latin America uh, are. Why is this so significant? Well, I think there's been long-standing complaints um, about the International Criminal Court's refusal to engage with uh, Western and Western allies' um, alleged crimes, um, particularly, for example, in the case of Afghanistan, where it, it stated that it would not look into U.S. crimes with as much uh, impetus as, as uh, Taliban crimes. So I think this is a, a a turning point for um, a court that now the global south can look at and say, okay, so so justice is equal. It, it is interesting that uh, Prosecutor Khan mentioned that one elected official in a global power, didn't say who, had told him, well, this court is really just for Africa and sucks like Putin. And this sends a signal that it isn't and that it's a good thing. Lastly, what does it mean for the people in Gaza? Well, I think there is a question of how quickly or if at all uh, will these warrants, if once they are approved, will be able to constrain Israel to you know, stop its uh, war effort in, in, in the Strip? Um, I think it'll be a longer process than that. So uh, unfortunately, I'm not, I'm not convinced that this, just the arrest warrants will be enough to, to make Israel uh, stop its campaign in, in, in the Gaza Strip. But um, hopefully they, they will mean that both Hamas and Israeli perpetrators will eventually face um, trial for their actions.